What I've created today is I went ahead and created a great little spring look with my natural nails. I've done a series of videos to help women learn how to work with their natural nails and learn how to file them and paint them and create a look and this is just a way to do something fun. I'm working in the cool colors and these are the cool colors. They have blue undertones. And then I'll probably do like a makeup technique like this to create, to get a, a great overall look. And what I started off with is this great pink color here. And you do the three stroke method where you start down the center of the nail and then you work on each side pulling it together and getting yourself a great color. And then I did two coats of the pink and then I went ahead and worked with these other colors to create a look. And I'll kind of show I started off with the dark blue to get it going because they do tend to dry pretty fast. And I use this cute little brush here that I have. And on this one, we'll let that thumb dry. I went ahead and what we can do here is do little wisps up here. And then we can go ahead and put like a little heart on this one. I'll show you how to do a heart. They did a little heart over here and a flower there. And, and it's just whatever you'd like to do with this. It's just being creative and having fun with color. Put it right here. Just a series of dots. And then you connect your dots. And pull it all together. And you have a great little heart. Okay? And then like on a flower, I'll put another one up here, see if we can do that. Well, it's just a series of dots again. And then you pull the little petals together. creating a great little flower. Then I'll show you on this one here. With this one we'll kind of go on this side now. Pull from this side. And they, my nails do kind of look random, but I did do kind of a pattern. These are similar, these are similar, the middle's similar, but then the ring fingers I did a flower on one and a heart on another, and then these all come from the other side. So it's being creative whatever with whatever you want to do. Figure out a little pattern, or maybe just do one or two, and just have fun with it. And then we have that. The little dots just kind of give it a little random look to it so it doesn't... I think I'm drying up here. And they can kind of look like little flowers on there. And then I use the silver on top to kind of soften it. And then I use that in the center of my flower too. After I, I, I'll show you here. It just kind of softens this blue up a little bit and gives it a little more depth to it. 
like over here on this flower I did the blue in the center so it looks like the center of the little flower what we can do is kind of connect that with that one so that they look like they're flowers together like that and then like with the silver I kind of put a little on my on my heart here just to soften that up and then bring some silver on this to just soften the color give it a little more depth and then I put this on the silver in the center of my flower also like that. and then over here we can go ahead and put a little silver on these wisps soften them up. Just play with it. Have fun and do something fun for spring.